This week, we've got drills for electricians and drills for everybody else. Bosch's new table saw, Flex, is in the zone, and we get a peek at the future of Makita. This is your Power Tool Week in Review. Today's episode is brought to you by Flex, it's what's next, and Spider Pro Powered Tools. Welcome back, Power Tool fans. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah. And we start off this week at Electrician University, where Dustin takes a shocking look at a Milwaukee. An electrician's life calls for a wide range of both power and hand tools, but when it comes specifically to a drill, Dustin knows exactly how important they can be to a Sparky. Fortunately, Milwaukee thought to ship him a custom pack-out tool case pre-packed out with their latest Gen 3 M12 drills and their Gen 4 M18s. So Dustin uses the opportunity to shoot a full introduction to drills and impacts, walking you through all of the basics, including design and use case. So if you're just purchasing your first tools on your way to electrician greatness, or if you'd just like to know more about the drills you already are using, Electrician U is always a great place to start. Back in April before DeWalt launched their DCF891 mid-torque impact, the torque testing trio at the Torque Test Channel happened to get their hands on one early. And the results were literally chart topping. So when word got out that their new high torque impact was on the way, we all took a collective breath and waited for it to arrive at TTC. Well, it's here. And the wait was well worth it. That is the all new DeWalt DCF 900 half inch impact wrench. And while it looks nearly identical to the seven year old DCF 899, on the inside, there's something completely different. The 899 claimed 1200 foot pounds of breakaway torque, while the new 900 boasts 1400, and it also enjoys a jump from 700 to 1030 foot pounds of tightening torque which, as TTC points out, is 30 foot-pounds over the Milwaukee. But as we all know, marketing departments have proven that they can put just about anything they want on their boxes, so we leave it to the torque testing crew to reveal the truth. And this time, the truth is very revealing. The new DCF900 proves to be the most powerful half-inch cordless impact that they've ever tested. And at this point, they've tested a lot. DeWalt, as it turns out, has made something really special in the DCF900, and it's worth a look over at Torque Test Channel. Speaking of the very best, Dave wanted to know who deserved the current crown and cordless brushless drill drivers, so he grabbed the usual suspects and put them to the test. His competitors included examples from Hilti, Milwaukee Flex, and DeWalt. To decide which is best, Dave took a deep dive into features including LED light timing, weight, temperature, and price. But it wouldn't be a man cave or tool test without several power tasks including the usual lag bolts and screws, but just for fun, he brought back the baby chainsaw attachment to see which drill handled it the best. He also did some drilling with 3 quarter inch bits and even 1 and a half inch speed bore. But after giving each tool the attention it deserved, two really stood out and one is actually awarded the crown. I'm not going to spoil it, but the brand rhymes with yellow. Wait, what rhymes with yellow? You can see for yourself over at Man Caver Tools. Every Monday night, we meet with our production crew channel members to look for new content to feature on our show. And this time, it was one of our members who got our attention. Electro Mechanician has been posting tools and mechanic videos off and on over the last four years, but this week shared a great review of the Milwaukee M18 Fuel two gallon cordless air compressor. And when it's equipped with an M18 XC 8.0 battery, it turns out to be a very useful tool. It tops out at 140 PSI, which is more than enough for most nailers. It's in a very small yet rugged form factor. It's inexplicably isn't pack out compatible, but most interesting to the electromechanician is just how quiet it is. To test it, he hooked it up to a Freeman framing gun and ran a series of tests not only to test the power, but also determine how many shots it takes to start the compressor back up. If you're still using pneumatic tools and could use an ultra portable solution, you should check it out at Electro Mechanician. If you're looking to do some tool shopping this week, we have a few deals for you that you won't want to miss. Starting with a Milwaukee Labor Day flash sale, you'll be able to pick up a free packout crate with a $199 purchase of either Milwaukee packout, accessories, hand tools, apparel, or safety equipment. For our Bosch fans, we have 15% off three or more Bosch accessories, which OPT arrange in a single page to make it easy to shop. And there's also several Milwaukee buy one, get one deals going on right now for bolt cutters and stainless steel tapes. We'll link to all of this week's deals in the description. Anyone who's been a fan of the tool review zone in the last two years knows that he has an uncomfortable aversion to flex power tools. 
But this week, Clint's evil twin showed up and brought the flex hammer drill with him. So he took advantage of the situation and finally agreed to test the flex turbo hammer drill against the brand new Milwaukee Gen 4 hammer drill. And it's pretty fun watching Clint begrudgingly give flex its moment on his channel. And to flex fans, the results won't be too surprising. There's a lot to love about their hammer drill, especially when paired up with their new stacked lithium batteries. Clint isn't ready to throw out his collection of red just yet, but this isn't the last time that you will see Flex in the tool review zone. He also purchased their flagship impact and the ridiculously overpowered rear handle saw. Only time will tell if Flex will find a permanent home in the tool review zone. Speaking of Flex, we reached out to them this month because we have an empty shelf on our monthly production crew power tool giveaway, and we thought they may want to fill it. And boy, did they! To celebrate the launch of their all new stack pack system, our fourth shelf will include their three piece stack pack kit. $200 worth of their stack pack accessories, and $1,500 in credit for you to use to pimp out your stack pack however you want with Flex tools and accessories. You'll literally be able to pick all the things you want from the Flex website and we'll have it shipped directly to the winner who picks that shelf. The new Flex shelf will join our other options, including $2,000 worth of Makita XGT tools, a Skill Outdoor Power Equipment shelf with their top-of-the-line mower, and a custom yard treatment from the Lawn Care Nut, and our Ryobi shelf with both OPE and Pro-Level HP power tools. But of course, there's no point using Pro Tools without Pro Accessories, so Spider has sponsored our production crew and provided a full line of Spider Pro Accessories for each one of the shelves. So be sure to join us tomorrow, Saturday the 3rd at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on Belts and Boxes where Rob and I will call our random winner live, so don't miss it. Makita continues to launch exciting new tools just about everywhere except the states, but fortunately for us we have tools and stuff to keep us informed, and this week there was a bunch of new tools to talk about. He starts off with the new Makita LXT quarter sheet sander, which he ordered back in January, and he actually does test the thing at the end of the video. But first, he covers several new Makita tool announcements, including a water pump attachment that can move up to 40 gallons per minute when it's used with the XGT power head. To put that into perspective, Milwaukee's little M12 transfer pump moves only nine. He also covers a new 18 volt LXT rear handle chainsaw, an XGT miter saw, and yes, even an invisible battery, which I lost even before I bought one. He also features several other Makita tool announcements you won't want to miss. For all the new tools Makita USA won't tell us about, head over to Tools and Stuff. Our production crew pointed to another channel new to us called Badger Workshop, produced by Matt over in Merry Old England. And this week he reviewed the Bosch Biturbo table saw, which we have yet to see here in the States. That's the Bosch GTS 18 volt 216 millimeter Biturbo brushless table saw, which has exactly zero turbos on it. But of course, we all know that Biturbo refers to the Bosch technology that allows their brushless motors to take full advantage of their Procore batteries. Duh. Anyways, Matt has had the saw in his possession for some time now and decided to share his thoughts on it. He carefully details all of the features, including its fence, blade guard, riving knife, and conveniently stored push stick. The saw isn't particularly fast at only 4,000 RPM. To put that into perspective, Milwaukee's M18 table saw operates at 6,300 RPM and features an 8 and a quarter inch blade compared to the 8 and a half inch on the Bosch. Of course, that doesn't really matter if you can't buy it anyways, but if you do live in a market with a GTS 18 volt 216, you can learn everything you need to know over at Badger Workshop. I've never actually used a tile saw before, just never had a need, so I wasn't expecting to get much out of Mark's review of Ridge's new tile saw, but I was wrong. That's the all new rigid 10 inch wet tile saw. It's the third generation of this particular model. It's loaded with features and over the span of 10 minutes, Mark covers every single one of them. This saw features a huge 36 inch rib capacity and can cut up to three and a half inch thick material. It can bevel up to 45 degrees and even make plunge cuts. And of course, it includes several ways to manage water, like optimized water nozzles, splash guards, and even a water tray isolation wall, which separates debris out of the recirculated water. There's a ton of accessory storage, and it comes with this clever folding stand, making it easy to move around as well. Mark really seems to like the saw, and after using it for a few projects, he makes it look super easy, and I'm seriously considering a tile project just to justify the price. 
Now, unfortunately, at $814, it would have to be a big project. To see if this saw is right for you, head over to Mark Thomas Builder. So are you guys ready for our production crew giveaway tomorrow? <laughs> be sure to be here at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we will go live and call our winner. It's always fun, and we tend to give away a bunch of stuff to the random viewers in the live chat as well. So I hope that you will be there. Now, right now, I want to thank our sponsors, Spider and Flex, who asked me to remind you that you only have until the end of this year to take advantage of the Flex Lifetime Warranty. So you should get that soon. All right, Tool fans, if you can, do something kind for someone else this weekend, and we'll see you tomorrow.